From Creamer Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Economy Report. Cummins Africa Middle East and Komatsu Africa have teamed up to bring the first Technical Education for Communities, or TEC, program to South Africa. Natasha Urendal tells us more. The companies have inaugurated a new TEC curriculum at the Sedebeng Technical and Vocational Education and Training College in Sebekeng. About 30 students will undergo a three-year market-relevant industry training program, as well as gain the practical experience needed to develop the required technical skills. Cummins Africa Middle East VP and MD Gina Batera discusses this further. This is a global initiative. It's uh, been launched through a partnership with Cummins and Komatsu. Uh, we developed that a couple of years ago, and this is our first expansion of that initiative into South Africa. Uh, from a Cummins perspective, we've had several on the continent. We've had one in Morocco, two in Nigeria, and now we're expanding here in South Africa. The curriculum, which also provides for teacher training and career guidance, includes basic mechanical, electrical and computer skills, as well as soft skills and workplace experience. The curriculum is developed by both the school, or the college in this case, as well as industry, uh, Cummins and Komatsu as the partners with this particular initiative. So working together, we believe the curriculum really fits the needs of the students and obviously the employers when they come out of this program. Uh, I think the fact that we've been able to you know, go through a very robust selection process and identify the students that have the capability and the want to learn and be a part of either the technical or vocational uh, training initiative has also made it a very unique program. Uh, we're in this for the long haul. It's a three-year partnership, you know, and uh, not only the monetary investment, but also the investment of our products, our people's time, to ensure that this is a success. This will culminate in opportunities for internships at the companies for a selected number of students. Komatsu Africa MD Mike Blom weighs in. If we have a look at the, the industry that we operate in, it's really a challenge and I think that you know, it's a combination of, of um, education uh, in terms of the communities where we have our operations to draw from those communities. Um, the basic schooling is not the best in some, a lot of these regions and that gives us quite a big challenge you know, to try and uh, bring people into our apprenticeship programs. This is a really nice gap between getting guys into our apprenticeship programs and it bridges that gap quite nicely. We still run an extensive um, uh, apprenticeship program program uh, throughout the country but um, it's very important that we try and bridge the gap between that school and coming into the apprenticeship. With employers experiencing critical shortages of skilled technical workers, Higher Education and Training Minister Naledi Pandor welcomed the initiative with open arms. One of the things we've been trying to do with the TVET colleges is to build partnerships with industry and ensure that the programs we offer are of relevance. Uh, to the industries that uh, uh, operate in South Africa because really we're training young people to have skills that they can use either as employees or as entrepreneurs as I said. Um, so for me this program because it's a partnership with two multinational corporations and the curriculum has been developed in partnership with them and we actually have the equipment available for practical experience. But fifthly, the interesting part is that the trainees will have the opportunity to actually work in plants of the companies. So they'll gain workplace experience as well. I think uh, sometimes we think it's uh, soft skills or vocational skills. And what they've done is bring these together. So they'll be acquiring workplace skills, um, education and writing skills as well as uh, you know just how you present yourself workplace ethics and so on and I think these are all valuable attributes that should be part of the programs that we offer. That's Creamer Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy.